forward. Here comes Boswell. Ricardo Clark in there. They're on their feet at BBVA Compass Stadium. They sense something special. A third corner of the match. Stoppage time at the end of the 90. Davis lofts it in. The header comes in for Boswell and it's fourth home. Omar Cummings equalizes for the Houston Dynamo. Through sheer will, they're level at BBVA Compass Stadium. Cummings has his first goal in the orange shirt. Great ball in from Brad Davis, and this first header from Boswell. Diving save from Robles, and instead of pairing it wide and getting it around that post, he just tees it up perfectly for Omar Cumming, who's right there to tap it in. But this first header, outstanding from Bobby Boswell. Again, another Houston Dynamo player not getting bumped. No one there to throw him off. Gets a free header. Maybe Robles has to be better with that. Parry it wide so there's no rebound. But Omar Cummings in the right place at the right time. And Houston Dynamo again in the playoffs. Come back from being down at half. Welcome back to BBVA Cup of Stadium. Houston Dynamo defender Bobby Boswell saluting the crowd after a 2-2 draw with the New York Red Bulls. Time now for the degree deodorant do more moment. And it came in the second minute of stoppage time. Off the Brad Davis corner kick, Boswell gets a hit on it, and Omar Cummings gains the equalizer for the Houston Dynamo. And now, let's look at the full-time stats brought to you by Scion. And the Red Bulls told us before the match that they would let Houston have possession. They did. But Dynamo had no shots on goal in the first half. Five in the second, scored on two of them, and tied this match as we head towards leg number two of the Eastern Conference semifinals. Russ Thaler and Kyle Martino here with you, and we're joined by the captain of the Houston Dynamo, Brad Davis. What were you guys able to do in the second half to get back in this game and ultimately tie it? I think uh, you can see we just continue to press. Uh, you know, you got to continue to believe in these situations, and this is one of the reasons why I love being a part of this group of guys. Uh, it's fight till the end. You know, this game was 90 minutes. We gave ourselves, you know, a good opportunity now headed into New York, still in this thing. So we just had to continue to pressure. We knew our opportunities were going to come, and they did, and we scored. Every year we ask you, and I have to ask you again, what is it with you guys in the playoffs? And there's, a, there's like a switch that flips. We, we just love it, man. We love the atmosphere. We love... Uh, we love our fans. It's uh, This is what it's all about. Your season's either going to end or you're going to keep going. And we know what it feels like to get to the final and, and win and to lose. So we got that taste in the mouth, and guys uh, continue to want more. It's an expectation for us to get there now. Now, and, and knowing that you guys have been there, done that in the past, did that make it easier to come in at halftime and Dominic Kinnear is not there? You don't have your head coach to sort of get you guys back together to rally the troops and give you a game plan for the second half? Is it sort of built in to the team? I definitely think it's built in. I think Dom... Uh, Dom does a good job in instilling and believing in, in us. He knows we know what to do. He knows we know what it takes. Obviously, he's coached us uh, through some difficult times. We played through some difficult times. So, uh, you know, I know Dom would have loved to have been down there, but uh, I know he believed in this group, and uh, we were able to come out and uh, get, to, get it done in the second half. Brad, you played the last 15 minutes plus stoppage time. A man up on New York. How important was it to actually get that second goal and convert with that opportunity? Uh, it was huge. Uh, you know, I have, I haven't having those moments in the playoffs this time of year you, you you have to capitalize on those and i'm happy that we did like i said this group keeps going i think it was the 92nd minute guys still crashing guys still fighting uh so it was a huge opportunity for us and luckily uh, we made the most of it now you mentioned to me before we we sat down that you were surprised you guys thought you had the game at the beginning of the half and they maybe sat back and let you have the ball a little bit it happened last time you were here do you expect the same thing when you go to red bull arena i think uh, they'll try and open the game up a little bit i think our field's a little bit tighter so uh red bull arena is a little bit bigger i think uh they'll try and spread it out a little bit more but we'll see we'll look at uh, we'll look at some tape we'll go over some things um you know right now uh, i'm just gonna say that uh, I'm, I'm happy with the way things uh, ended up here 2-2 uh, going back to new york very difficult game coming up for us so uh we're, we're gonna enjoy this moment coming back and uh look forward to uh wednesday night brad davis captain of houston dynamo brad thanks so much thanks, for joining man. us a 2-2 draw feels a little bit like a victory for dynamos they come back from two down to tie it here in houston we're back to wrap it up after this <laughs> 